Namaskar. It gives me immense pleasure to introduce you to the Indian Plumbing Association's Plum Talk series. As part of Plum Talk, plumbing industry experts from across the country will be explaining the nuances of plumbing technology in an easy and understandable manner. And this will make plumbing science easier for building industry professionals, engineering and architectural students, as well as the general public to understand the basics of plumbing technology. Let me give you a little background on IPA, which is the apex body of plumbing professionals in India. IPA is now a 29-year-old body, started in 1993, currently has 24 chapters, working towards redefining plumbing standards in India, tirelessly working towards better plumbing for a healthy living. I therefore request you to please go through the Plum Talk series, which will be a guide for students, for architectural students, for even current architects and, and engineers, so that you are able to improve your knowledge on plumbing and ensure that all plumbing installations are installed not only as per codes, but we make sure that we, whatever water we use, we move towards net zero water and net zero sanitary. Hi everyone, welcome to Plum Talk. It is a plumbing communication from IPA, Indian Plumbing Association. Today we will be studying uh, introduction of plumbing, that is chapter one of IPA's solo publication, a guide to good plumbing practices. How are we defining plumbing? The service that provides safe portable water at adequate pressure and quantities at desired location within living space and carrying away the waste matter in hygienic manner can be termed as the word plumbing in the context of developing nation like India. While practices in various countries might vary, the fundamentals generally remains the same. Yes, the plumbing is an essential part of every house or building. Proper planning and designing of plumbing system is crucial as it takes care of hygienic requirements of the occupants. It has been reported that about 8 to 12 percent of construction cost of building is marked for plumbing and sanitary works depending upon type of building. Whereas all MEP services put together would be in the tune of 23 to 28 percent. Any building, be it a residential, commercial or industrial cannot function properly without having plumbing and sanitary arrangement in place. A typical plumbing system shall include identification of an appropriate source or multiple source of water than storage, treatment, conveyance and distribution of the same to required locations. This process may involve usage of several products and appliances such as storage vessel, treatment units, plumbing equipment, piping, valves, accessories, etc. An appropriate installation shall ensure user comfort at the various plumbing fixtures like water closets, wash basin, showers, sinks, faucets, etc. The term plumbing fixtures embraces not only wash basin and also toilet, but also such a device as washing machine, geyser, dishwasher, drinking water fountains. As you may be aware, water is supplied to a house or a building can be done either by gravity distribution through overhead water tank or by pressurized water distribution through hydropneumatic pumps as illustrated in the picture shown. These water distribution pipes and materials used in plumbing system must be strong, non-corrosive and durable enough to equal or exceed the expected life of the building in which they are installed. Generally, the pipes made up of galvanized iron or plastic pipes like CPVC, 
UPVC, polybutylene, PEX or copper, stainless steel or other uh, non-toxic materials. Similarly, the waste water from kitchen and washroom is drained out with the help of sanitary pipes. The common terminology used in the industry for spent water coming out from the wash basin, bathtub, sink and laundry equipment as grey water. Whereas used water from toilet or water closet termed as black water. Universally, the term sewage referred to mixture of both grey and black waters. The most common material used for the pipes carrying sewage are cast iron pipes, plastic pipes like PVC, HDPE, PEE in the build space or plumbing shafts. An equally important aspect of a plumbing system is safe and hygienic means of conveyance and disposal of sewage. This will also involve several products and accessories such as traps, inspection chambers and treatment systems. An efficient plumbing work keeps the atmosphere free from bad smell and ensures better sanitation within the habitable space. If toilet having foul smell, it could have a broken or loose water seal in the flow trap. It is therefore important to have regular and adequate water supply and a proper system for disposal of used water. Sanitary fixture traps provides a water seal between the sewer pipes and the room in which plumbing fixtures are installed. The most commonly used sanitary traps are P-trap, Q-trap or S-bed or dip installed in the drain pipeline adjacent to outlet of each fixture. A portion of the wastewater discharged by the fixture is retained in the U formation, a seal that uh, separates fixture from the open drain pipes. The connection details are shown in the picture is very important to avoid cross contamination and hence bad odor. A building wastewater disposal has two parts, the drainage system and venting system. The drainage system comprises of pipes leading from various fixture drains to the central main after which it is connected to municipal or township or campus sewage system. The venting system consists of uh, pipes leading from an air inlet usually on the building roof to various points within the drainage system. It protects the sanitary traps from siphoning or blowing by equalizing the pressure inside and outside the drainage system. Whereas seaway system is a network of pipes, pumping station and appurtenances that conveys sewage from its point of origin to a point of treatment and disposal. This will also involve several products and accessories such as pipes like DWC pipe, double wall corrugated, foam core pipes, RCC pipe or salt glazed pipe, inspection chamber, manhole, maybe plastic modular or cast in situ with clay bricks or concrete block or RCC. A plumber's job role consists of installation, repair, maintenance and servicing of plumbing fittings and fixtures. Beside having a thorough understanding of mechanisms required for performing various tasks, a plumber should have effective communication skills. For an efficient plumbing system, 
it is important that standard plumbing and sanitary material as per Bureau of Indian Standard BAS are used. Whereas for installation one has to refer to Uniform Illustrated Plumbing Code India and National Building Code of India published from time to time. It is important that quality workmanship, practical checks and supervision are ensured during the plumbing and sanitary work as per the above codes. The handbook published by IPA, a guide to good plumbing practices, comes handy and it helps in getting the best out of skilled and skilled laborers. To sum up, a typical plumbing system shall include identification of an appropriate source of water, storage, treatment, conveyance and distribution of the same to required locations. This process may involve usage of several product and appliances such as storage tanks, treatment units, pumping equipment, piping, valves, accessories, etc. as described above. As an appropriate installation shall ensure user comforts at various plumbing fixtures such as water closet, wash basin, showers, sinks, faucets, etc. While I say this to all of you, there is one apex body which is tirelessly working towards implementation of good plumbing practices. That's Indian Plumbing Association. Bringing plumbing professionals together since 1993 and redefining plumbing standards in India. Thanks for watching this video and hope it is informative and useful. This is Bio Prasanna Kumar signing off. Wait for our next video in Plum Talk series based on a guide to good plumbing practices. Watch and enjoy.